Look, it's actually raining. So we have kind of a uh, limited shop, but I can still do some things uh, when it's raining in here. And uh, today I am welding this uh, boom or uh, like a crane arm for our river screen um, pump setup that you guys saw last summer and I'm sure we'll be seeing more of, especially as we build this. Um, we actually had this old truss. I don't even know exactly what it's from, if it was from a building or something. I'm not really sure. But we had it laying around. Um, so I'm strengthening it up a little and then going to come up with a hinge system. And then uh, we'll put a post in at the river and this will swing on the post and the river screen and suction line will hang from it as we extend it out over the river and then we're going to put this cable crank on it so we can crank the screen up out of the river and, and down into the river. The river screen has a foot valve on it to hold water up in the pipe in between pumpings but then, then the season has a valve that we can open and let all that water off, out so it's lighter. But we're still gonna have, a de have to have a decent amount of strength to lift that that far out. So the plan is to use this kind of truss and, and put it on a big pole and then also go up higher and have a cable coming down to help just keep it strong enough. And uh, then I got my uh, pulley here. So we'll run, run the cable through there and be able to crank it up from the end so hopefully it'll be pretty nice and be a lot better maybe be get to where it could even potentially be a one-man job whereas right now it was essentially a three or four person job uh, because of the steepness of the bank and everything so This thing had kind of a bend to it, so I had to clamp it and weld it. And uh, but I'm, I mostly straightened it up, and then this angle iron gives it a little more strength. All the clamps. So I am by no means like a master builder or anything, but um, I do my best. So I, I welded this here to kind of be an angle going up and then uh, I'll have uh, pins in here to hinge it and I'm going to cut a hole in here to be a hinge. But uh, so I just found this piece laying around. Most of what I build I just find iron. I mean. I just get iron out of our junk pile over here. Not junk, it's an iron pile, but uh, you know, it just kind of varies what's up there. But I welded it here because that was the distance way it needed to be, but now I'm realizing this is going to be kind of a weak spot where it's going to be pulling all that in between this truss. So I'm going to put, went up to our iron pile, found me an old, uh, a, uh, old rasp bar from the 9600 when we replaced them. And I cut it in the two pieces and weld on down to this angle iron. To keep that angle to tie this to the heavier part. And then, you know, hopefully after that it'll it'll transfer weight to this truss. So I'm not real scientific. I just kinda eyeball things, but Okay, so today I'm uh, welding the hinges on the posts that we'll put down by the river. I went and got some measurements. So we're gonna try to get the post 
about two and a half, three feet in the ground, and then be about another two foot out of the ground, and then the and then we'll go up higher here and put a cable from the top out to there. So we had these hinges from a, uh, I think an old spring tooth or something. So I cut them, cut them out, and then I cut slots in the post, and I'm setting these in there, and we'll be able to get a good strong weld. I have butt welded hinges before, but it's hard to get them strong, and this is going to have some pretty good torque on it, so. Not bad for a farmer with an old stick welder. I think she'll hold. Okay, we're back on the uh, the river crane project. We're down here by the river. We had to set this post. Couldn't get the uh, hole digger on the tractor in here, so I dug it out with a shovel and uh, the manual the manual hole digger. And I wasn't able to get it real deep because uh, I hit a tree root. I'm probably, I would have liked to be maybe six inches deeper, but the key is we're gonna tie cables to the top and brace it back to the bank because we knew this would be kind of hard. So we're working on it. Now I might try. Okay, it's hanging. We're gonna put cables where we have those chains bracing the posts. We don't have the cables yet. But it's pretty uh, pretty level. So we've got it, uh, we've got it in. It swung out nice. And uh, we were able to prop it up here along the, uh, the bank actually take those chains off and we'll bring the cable back to, to brace it. So we have a few finishing touches that hopefully I can vlog. Uh, this was a nice um, winter and early spring project to do that will hopefully make the busy season um, a lot easier um, to get that river screen in and out of the river and um, now if, if a flood, if there's a flood or something, um, we won't have, it, it won't be as um, difficult and dangerous with, with muddy ground because we'll have this crane um, and high water, you know, we'll have the crane to just pick it up and get it out of there before um, a uh, flood could come submerge our engine or anything. So that was um, why we, we needed this crane and um, I think it came together pretty nicely. Alright, I'm back here at the river. Today there's like... 35 mile per hour winds again. We've been having a lot of wind. It's getting kind of tiring and you just run out of things that would be nice to do in the wind. So then you just do the things you need to do in the wind. So uh, we had a bunch of cable from a uh, old um, pivot in tower deal and uh, it was just sitting around. We almost forgot about it. But anyways, I went and got that and uh, now I, I've uh, I'm working on detangling it and uh, it's probably gonna be windy so I'm worried you're not gonna be able to hear anything I say so so you can see I've got like a whole bunch of cable and uh, it was all wrapped up in groups of like three or four or five so I had to kind of unwrap all of it just to get single strands at a time. So while I have the the uh, crane propped up against the bank, I uh, put on uh, this cable and to that, to a tree over there, and uh, this cable to a tree up there. And then we might do kind of a third one over here with a just an anchor in the ground but I don't have the anchor and then I, I strung one from the top of the pole down to the end and uh, doing a little tweaking um, when I when I loosen it I'll, I'll loosen it and do a little tweaking to make sure 
you know each cable has um, some tension but then that our hinges are still uh, carrying a good amount of weight too just so all the weight is distributed okay we'll see how I hang this and uh, I've got some tension on the uh, cable but also tension on the hinges A little uphill now but we'll see so it's wanting to swing backwards I don't have it perfectly level but when I get it out here I think it's pretty pretty close to level because it's it's about staying but throughout this video you might notice um, some things in the background some trash on the ground so apparently at some point this bank was uh, stabilized or it was just dumping ground I don't know but uh, we've got a half buried car here and a truck there Ziva's helping me out today and uh, like some old playground equipment is here and uh, of course this tube is here to help drain the field uh, without um, causing a washout and um, so it's kind of interesting uh, even digging the hole we were getting into some like trash and stuff um, but uh, we should be all right uh, it should be pretty stable and um, you know we'll be monitoring it of course uh, because it's our pump site so it'll be important to um, keep it maintained and uh, you never know what river water is going to do when it starts flooding and stuff but um, that's why this crane is important so that when a, if a flood does come we can we can get our river screen out of the water and our pump um, up on the bank um, up on high ground where it won't go underwater because you don't want your engine and, and pump to be going underwater so uh, and this will help us do that even if it's muddy and raining or something like that it'll be a lot safer um, and uh, then just every day you know do um, only one or two guys can come set up the uh, the pump and tear it down at the end of the year um, you know instead of it taking three or four people to, to lift it out of the water um, which was doable but with the steep bank it's just a lot better to have this crane so uh, it's kind of fun working down here um, even with the wind you know we're kind of out of the wind down here in, in the trees and and uh, during the the summer it's kind of nice to be down by the cool river the water so dad said it was uh, kind of a common practice back in the day to to send uh, cars down the riverbank to to step stabilize it but they um, have put an end to that we don't do that anymore because um, you know different uh, fluids that were in the engines and stuff were then getting into the river and that was no good so um, we, you don't really dump trash in the in the riverbank anymore um, so but you can tell that was the old way of doing it there is still um, ongoing efforts though to uh, stabilize the riverbank in different places um, because uh, it can cause loss of farm ground or it can get close to roads um, so at times you know efforts are made um, if the trees have fallen in um, and there's no trees to hold the riverbank. I know there's a lot of efforts to either plant trees. Um, sometimes they put big rocks um, they, and they try to get it uh, sodded to grass um, and, and lots of efforts can be made to stabilize a riverbank and it's a, an, an important thing um, to uh, reduce erosion and, and uh, keep the river where it's at as much as possible. You know, you can't always uh, tell water exactly what to do, but um, we can uh, try to stabilize things. Okay, this is the cable with the hook on it, so I'm gonna uh, string it through this pulley here. And the hook will be what hooks to the, the river screen. And then I'm going to take the old cable off the crank because it's not long enough and uh, attach this long cable to it.
right, got it over the river. My cable's long enough. I'm going fishing. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. Got a long ways to crank. I hope my uh, crank is big enough. It'll probably fill up. There it comes. So that might be a little too much extra length. I don't know, we'll see, but we can always shorten it. I'm just glad it was long enough. Well, I'd call it a success. Of course, we haven't actually dropped the river screen in yet, and hopefully it'll carry all the weight, but the river screen isn't that heavy, uh, and you know, so I have, I have faith that it'll work. I mean, I built it all with that in mind. Here until I don't know June or July. Hopefully we get some rain, and uh, then it'll be ready to pump some water. Here's my high tech stand for it. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, especially if you want to see um, this crane in action um, starting uh, irrigation this summer. So we will. Uh, Things are about to get busy. We're going to be planting corn here pretty soon and, and uh, really getting into the growing season. So uh, thanks for uh, following along, everybody.